Who made this? Who made this dot? I want to know the guy who made it. A flower on top of it. When I think of dessert, the first thing that comes up in my mind is the last thing I would do. The reason why is because this is the thing that everybody already thought of. This class is about finding your own pastry identity and learning a whole new pastry approach. I will show you some designs that I've came up with over the last 27 years, stuff that I never discussed before. I will guide you through my ways of creation, methods, practices, and my pastry philosophy. With anger management class. Orange needs to be, everything needs to be neat. And if it's not neat, it needs to look like it's actually just fallen naturally on the cake. Straight, bit square. Reminds me of my days at school. I introduce you to my current pastry style when using no silicone molds, no freezer, no coloring, and no glaze. Wait too long with your apple. What you see is what you get. We will not only work with the flavors of dessert, but also its appearance. Just like that. See the spikes are hanging. Today, pastry chefs see thousands of pictures on social channels. And to keep up with your own style, without copying anybody, is very difficult. You have to know and set yourself boundaries. When I design a product, I try to make something that no one has made before. Or something that just looks tasty, and of course, it's beautiful to look at. Even if you don't have a machine, just by hand, old school, good for your biceps. Whether you're a pastry chef trying to enhance your skills, whether you're a pastry student trying to develop your own identity, whether you're a home baker trying to find your own style, I'm going to show you how to do that. I like to keep things simple. You will see a fully different perspective on how modern pastry can be created. You will learn how to find inspiration within yourself, not only on social media. Not like this, not like that. Same height. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Frank Haasnoot and this is Pastry Class.